Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Kind of excited about today's video. Guys, we're going to be starting a new series on a project that Tina and I have worked all summer long to try to make happen. So, along the way, we're also going to need your input. So, you guys hang around till after the break. I'll tell you what we're up to. Alrighty guys, like I said, we're getting ready to start a new series, and uh, I have been really looking forward to this, guys. We are uh, getting ready to put in a combination a workshop and an outdoor patio cooking area, but we're going to put it back in the backyard. We're going to give up part of our main garden space to do it, but I'll walk you back there and show you a little bit about where we're going to put it. But this is going to be the beginning of the video. We just want to kind of introduce it. I've got some pictures. I'll probably throw those up along the way and give you kind of an idea of what we're building. But it's all going to start with the grading. Now, I've been back there working and uh, um, we got the ground pretty much leveled out. They brought in the stone today. They'll follow that up by coming in with a transom and they'll uh, set the level for the pad. We'll throw that stone down and then guys we're going to get to pouring concrete. But today is all about the grading and uh, getting the ground ready to put the building up. So we appreciate it if you guys want to follow along and we're also going to be looking for your input as we go. You know it's a it's kind of a fluid design. We're working with a guy that uh, has, has been real friendly and he's adapted real well to the changes we wanted in the building. So and we can change things along the way if we need to. So if you see something say it and if you've got an idea throw it out there. You never know. We've, uh, we've changed the design about a hundred times over the summer and uh, we may change it yet again. But for right now, we're looking at putting up a 28 by 40 building, or it'll be 28 by 40 under roof. We'll put a pour a 28 by 40 pad, and uh, the building itself will be the front part of the pad. It'll be 16 by 40. It'll have two open bay garage doors, a couple of steel entry doors, and some windows. But the back half of the building will be completely open. It's gonna be 12 by 40. It's gonna be covered under a roof, that's going to be our new outdoor cooking area. So it'll face towards the back. We won't even be able to see it from the house. So guys, we just wanted some privacy where we could get back here, break out our grills, do a little barbecuing, bring you guys a few more different kinds of cooking videos, and we'll still have the wood shop too. So um, guys, we haven't really got into it here on the channel. I used to do some construction back in the day, and uh, I've got plenty of tools. I've basically got a small construction company and boxes in my garage that I haven't been able to utilize because I... I really just don't have room to get them out and work with them here. So I pull them out as I need them and then I got to put them away. But guys, it's time to get a shop built. We'll get out there and uh, spread them tools out and we'll show you how to do a few things. But uh, first things first is we got to get it built. So we'll get out of here. We'll take a look at the ground. And like I said, if you've got any ideas, please let us know. But let's go see where we're going to start. All righty, guys. We're out here looking at the main garden area and, uh, this is where the process started. One of the hardest decisions we had to make was giving up part of our main garden. In fact, we may end up giving up all of it, you know, giving up all of it altogether. So, guys, it's a, uh, you know, it's it's going to be hard to do, but uh, we've already put the put the tractor to it and uh, leveled out part of the ground where the building's going to sit. It'll sit right up front here on this main pad. It'll eat across the front of the main garden there. And go on over there towards the grass but i've got a few pictures we're just gonna pay a little homage to the old garden and uh, i'll throw up a few pictures of when it was in a heyday and maybe you'll understand why this part of the decision wasn't exactly easy for us Alrighty guys, so much for spilt milk. We're gonna have to 
kiss that part of the garden goodbye. We're going to have to move off from it. Now you know we've got our raised bed gardens. And we've also expanded our planting beds over there by the sweet potatoes and stuff. So guys, you can plan on us keeping on gardening. It just won't be here in the main garden. So, um, as you can see, we've got the ground here leveled out. It's uh, pretty wet still. We've had a lot of rain here lately. But I'm going to say I did this by eyeball. I'll say I did a fairly good job since it has water standing all over it. And all of it about the same depth. So, looks like we did a pretty good job eyeballing the main dig for the grading. And the grading stone was delivered this morning. So, the next thing that will happen is, is the contractors will come in. The guys doing the concrete will come in and they'll put stakes in the ground. They'll use a transom to find a true level. And then they'll... Uh, set what they call grade stakes they'll put the grade stakes in and that'll tell them what level to put the stone in for underneath the concrete pad but that'll be where they begin at they should be on that about the end of next week so this is part of where the input we need from you guys comes from i'm kind of curious how how closely you want us to follow this we can uh we can stay on them with the camera um as you know, Tina and I are both disabled veterans. This is a little bit above our pay grade and our work level. So we've got some guys coming in that are going to do a fantastic job. The main contractor, um, not sure if he still does, but at one time worked with Mennonite Builders. And uh, he's a real solid guy. We trust him a lot. So he's going to be coming in, and him and his crew are going to handle most of the building. But we'd like to know just how closely you want us to follow the series along. We're going to do what we can. We'll follow along behind the guys in a clean up work sites and stuff and talk a little bit about what they're doing or what they accomplished that day but we're not real sure uh, not real sure exactly how close you guys want to follow it or if you just want to see the final product which uh, kind of brings us to the next point we probably ought to show you what we're building so guys we don't have any uh, fancy drawings uh, most of it's been done on notepads and scribbled with a pencil but I've got a few computer generated images that uh, should give you a rough idea of what we're planning to build. And, uh, you know, just, just a, just a kind of general sense. But it's going to be, like I said, it'll be 16 by 40 for the main shop. Behind it will be a 12 by 40 covered outdoor deck. So, or on a concrete pad, I guess. But it'll be an outdoor cooking area where we can drag out the grills. I've got several different kinds of grills. We're looking forward to bringing, bringing you some outdoor cooking videos. But... Just time to get started, get this grading work done. Like I said, they'll be out here the end of next week probably. We'll get the grading stakes in, we'll get the stone spread, and we'll be ready to pour concrete. So, guys, let me uh, let me show you these pictures that we got computer generated up here, and then I'll bring you right back. Alrighty guys, I'm up here on the back porch now. I wanted to try to give you guys some perspective of where the building is going in at. We're right here at the corner of the house. The driveway comes down from the road. You'll see it comes on down, comes on. I'll try to move you slow so nobody gets dizzy. We had them pile the rock right there. And right at the turn of the driveway where we park here by the house, that is where the main garden is. And the big platform there is where the building will sit. But to give you an idea, we'll continue on around here just a little bit. That's where you guys see us working in the raised bed gardens and stuff. Our chicken coops are back beyond there. But this ought to give you a little bit of perspective of how the building's going to sit in orientation to the house. It's right behind the house at the same angle as the house. And it'll sit right beside the driveway. So at the far end there, you saw in the pictures, there's some garage doors. We'll be able to come straight down the driveway. We'll have access to those garage doors right there. The entryway will be on this end here by the truck. And uh, back in the back there, that's where the covered porch will be on the back of the building. And our view will be the pretty trees and stuff back there along the creek. So we'll be able to sit back here on the porch. We'll kind of close out some of the noise and stuff from up at the road. 
and uh, we'll just be able to sit back there and enjoy the the birds and the animals and stuff and all the things that wander down our creek and there's there's a lot of different things anything from uh, beaver to otters to weasels we've about got it all here so we see them every once in a while we try to trap them and move them when we can but uh, guys this is a uh, this is kind of where the building will sit we'll get you down here and try to do a little more talking with you alrighty guys I thought I'd bring you back up here on the porch now I don't have any notes so uh, we're gonna try to stumble through some of the some of the the particulars of the building and if you guys have any suggestions or anything then you'll have an idea where we're starting from but the basic building is going to be um, 16 by 40 um, the roof is going to be crowned evenly which means um, the crown will be in the middle the back wall of the building will be slightly off center towards the back so uh, we're going to build it just like a stick built construction it's going to be built with 2 by 6 um, framing and 2 by 6 um, rafters so we plan to insulate it pretty heavily guys that's something we'll do after the crews get out of here but uh, we'll probably handle the, a lot of the electric and stuff ourselves so um, but it's going to be uh, 2 by 6 studded and like a regular frame built building it's going to be sheeted but we're also going to use to keep the maintenance down on Tina and I we're also going to use metal siding so the the sides of it will be metal the roof will be metal but uh, we're also we're going to go ahead and frame it just like a stick built building so the back the back porch will overhang by 12 feet it'll still cover the pad but um we're going to gable the ends in we're going to um, our closed box the gables in but we're going to do that in metal also we'll probably bring that down to about seven foot or so but we'll box both ends and then we'll box along the front of it if uh, you guys have seen the pole barn that uh, old uh, Dutch build over there at the keeping a Dutch channel he's got a lot of great videos on how he put that thing up it's going to be a lot like that and kind of similar to a pole barn except more uh, more stick built when it comes to the framing so but the back porch will run the full length of the building. Like I said, we're going to put in an extra wide back door so that I can bring my barbecue and grills in and out of the shop. We'll be able to drag them out there and uh, do some cooking videos for you and stuff. We hope to uh, hope you enjoy those. I, uh, I'm particularly fond of my smoker. But um, guys, that, uh, that'll give us a lot of nice space where we can sit back here. We'll, uh, we'll have a nice little setup area where we can have friends and family over and enjoy some good meals. So. Um, inside the building we're probably going to do several workbenches um, one I've got planned is we're going to repurpose we have hardwood floors in our house and we had some extra hardwood flooring left over it's solid hardwood it's not veneer it's solid hardwood so we're probably going to uh, we may run it through a planer we may not but uh, w what we're going to do is we're going to try to layer it up real good make some nice hardwood top benches and uh, um, put some cabinets and stuff in there but anyway We'll, uh, we're going to accommodate it also. Um, a lot of you know about my military disability. I won't go into that here, but we've also planned for that. Everything is going to be at ground level. Won't be any steps in there. We have plans for a pretty good air handling system. That'll make it easier on my lungs. And then uh, we also have a metal cabinet where I'll be able to store oxygen out there full time. So no worries there. We'll be able to keep the air in the shop like we do in the house. And uh, that that'll be just fine. I can I can I can handle a little bit. I get out and uh, try to keep busy, so uh, no real worries there. But we'll try to keep the shop pretty uh, pretty a clean environment. So um, some of the other things we have planned for the inside of the shop, we may end up putting in a in a wood stove. Um, solar is not going to be an option. Um, this is not going to be an off grid build. I know those are really popular right now, and I admire the guys that can do it. Guys, at Tina and I's age. Um, Guys, our kids have kids, so uh, um, we're just going to go, we'll be on grid, and uh, we'll tie, tie the shop to the house somehow, but uh, we may be working on extension cords here for a little bit, but the, the shop will be on grid. Um, I need to be able to use my welders and stuff out there, and uh, we're just going to need to be tied to the grid, so um, another option, you know, in, in terms of solar, um, the building runs north and south, so... Um, the roof angles will be east and west. Ideally for solar, you want to be facing the southern sky. So the building, just to align it with the house and set it aesthetically here on the property, um, it's just not going to be conducive to solar anyway. So um, 
you may see us throw up a few solar lights. We may throw up a few panels just to run a few projects. But, uh, guys, it's, it's going to be an on-grid build. I hope that's not a disappointment. But I've got an awful lot of power tools, and I don't want to see them go to waste. <laughs> they, uh, they draw an awful lot of amperage, and I am just not, especially with the financing of the build, I'm just not in a position to go after that right away, even if that was a decision of ours down the road. Now, mentioned financing here. Guys, this is something we've worked on all summer. Um, it's going to be a going to be a big dent in our uh, budget, but we're going to work primarily from our savings and uh, some money that we've budgeted to make the payments on it. But I have to tell you, we're going to have to stay good to it because I put my truck up as collateral. So, um, guys, I really love my truck. So just know, somehow, one way or another, that building is going to get paid for. Not a big deal. Please don't send us money. That's uh, that's not what this is about. But uh, we've got it handled. Just uh. It's something that took a lot of planning and a lot of budgeting. Tina is excellent at those things. Um, she's handled our budget for a long time. And uh, for some people on some uh, lower fixed income, we do pretty well. So she has, uh, she has done a great job squeezing uh, dimes out of nickels. So we <laughs> really appreciate her efforts there. Um, we're looking at possibly putting in a uh, small little area so I don't have to sit here on the porch all the time. I guess I'm sure you guys are tired of looking at the gray house siding. But uh, now I'm dressed in gray to boot. So, But we're going to put in maybe put in a little spot where uh, we can sit down and jaw some and uh, sit, out there in the, sit out there in the shop and just have some uh, tool time. So guys, we're, uh, we're looking forward to this build. It's, it's a big project for Tina and I. It's a, it's a big financial investment and it's something that we have put off for almost the 10 years we have been here in Tennessee. So I had a, had a decent little shop over in North Carolina, but guys, it's time to set up something where we can do some real work, work on some real projects, bring you guys some better content. We get out there and uh, who knows, we'll build some birdhouses or something. But uh, we've, got a, we've got a friend of ours here locally. He likes to build uh, benches and picnic tables and stuff, and that is right up my alley too. So. Guys, we'll have, we'll have plenty of room to work on it. That's a, that's a blessing for us. But we appreciate you guys coming along on the journey. If you have any questions about the building, or in particular, if you guys have any suggestions, please throw them out there. I don't care what they are. We'll read through them. You guys know we read and respond to all of our comments. So uh, please throw them out there. Please tell us what you think of the series. Tell us, uh, let us know how much detail you want to see of it. We can be out there every day chasing them with cameras. Or we can condense the entire project into one short time lapse. So it really, uh, it really doesn't matter. We uh, we've got access to. Uh, I've got a drone. We can get some drone footage of it. Um, if you're interested in the details, you know, right down to the fine details, we can show you how they set the grade stake, spread the stone. They'll run a compactor over it, and they'll lay the they'll lay the forms and the rebar for the concrete, and we'll get to pouring here probably pretty soon. But, uh, I mean, I, I can chase along every detail if you want. I've got enough experience with it to explain it without having to having to bother the guys doing the work. But uh, you just let us know. Let us know what kind of, what kind of detail you want to know. And uh, we'll just follow the project along otherwise as, a, as just kind of a, a semi-weekly thing. I'm not real sure how fast it will progress. That's kind of up to them. One of the things we... Uh, we agreed as part of the part of the pricing was to let them work at their pace and not put them under a huge uh, time constraint. So everybody's balled up here at the end of fall and uh, trying to get things done. And, uh, you know, a lot of projects are getting pushed back to spring at this point of the year. So we're lucky to just be getting in and getting the shop done. And we're real glad that we've been blessed to find a builder that could do that for us. So, like I said, throw us out some suggestions. Throw us out your ideas. Uh, let us know uh, the main color on the building is going to be the same as the house kind of what you see right behind me but we've got a, a light gray metal going on the sides and we'll have a dark charcoal gray roof on it so our, our house is um, architect shingled in a in a kind of a charcoal gray there's no there's no real good word for it but it's a little bit darker than the shutter you see over there but uh, this one over here but uh guys it's a uh, it's just been a real blessing to us, and uh, we've been really looking forward to it. Let us know what kind of content you think we could produce out of it, things you might want to see. I've got lots and lots of tools, and I know how to use them. So um, if, you guys, uh, if you guys are curious about that, or you want to see comparison videos, or if you want to see me run a, I don't know, a 
saws all through the band saw and cut it in half and show you what's inside of it. Who, to, who knows? I've, I've been known to do a thing or two now and again. So, guys, uh, just uh, let us know your ideas. We're really looking forward to the project, and we're really looking forward to your suggestions. Thank you for coming and hanging out with us here on the channel. If you like the content here, I hope you'll subscribe. Down next to the subscribe button is a bell. If you'll ring that bell too, that'll send you notifications whenever we release a new video. It's a great way to keep up with the channel and it'll help you keep up with the series. But if you like the video here today, we hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And like I said, please flood the comment section down below. Tell us what you think. Tell us your ideas. If you if you got any great suggestions and uh, or bad suggestions, tell us tell us anyway. We won't judge. So, but uh, we really appreciate you guys hanging out with us today. We'll catch you in the next one.